fuck these bitches. But boy, you go back and respect your mama, your sisters, your auntie, your grandmama. You start down, nigga. One of them did. They can't nurture you into the heart of God, nigga, because that's the gift of the woman, nigga. She's supposed to push you and motivate you into your purpose, into your God-given design, my nigga. A leader. That's our job. She can't nurture you. She can't even feed you to that state, nigga. Don't you throw your life away. And don't you listen to no sissy defending no hoes and bitches. Because believe me, DJ Academics was dead wrong when he was disrespecting Erica Badu. Where was them sissies at then? Because he was very disrespectful to Erica Badu. Very disrespectful to the queen. And not one of you gay motherfuckers teared up and said nothing for the queen. Now all of a sudden y'all gonna come defend the hoes and the bitches? Nigga, please. We don't, the real men don't go back and forward with no sissy. That's why I ain't addressed this bitch. Nigga, I'm addressing the women. Fuck, I'm gonna address the punk fuck. The punk trying to be a bitch. Punk want to play a man in this situation. Get that dick out your ass, man. For you stand up for these women. You got to get that dick out your ass. You got to wipe that that whole, that whole makeup off your face. You got to get your voice back right. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, yeah. You got to do all that. For you can stand up and protect the black woman in front of the world. Sissies can't do it. You taking dick like them. You laying on your back, spreading your legs, getting fucked in your motherfucking ass. You can't defend no woman. You've been emasculated. You've been homosexualized. Fuck you go protect. You a fucking punk. You're gonna rot in hell. You, there's no God that you can serve. How you gonna protect the black woman's spirit? There's no God that you can serve, you homosexual black man. No God can hear your prayers. When you come around a son, you got a spirit that will contaminate his soul. How can you protect the black woman, sister? How? How can a sissy protect the black woman when he would destroy the nature of what she would create her seed? Man, y'all better shut the fuck up talking to me. Y'all better, because if I get serious, I'm going to hurt y'all feelings. Just keep letting me play funny, man. Just let me keep play funny, man. There's no way a fucking faggot can protect the black woman. You ain't seen a faggot die for one yet, have you? There's plenty of brothers in prison behind the black woman. There's plenty of brothers that threw their life away for nothing behind the black woman. And here this punk will come and try to stand forward like he really defending something. That was a time when we needed punks and black men to stand together. And you punks went and stood with the woman with dresses on, with so assholes, nigga. Y'all ain't got no so knuckles, no so chins, and y'all ain't done no time for this village. Y'all punks don't feed this village. Y'all punks don't mentor other punk kids. Y'all punks don't give away bikes. Punks don't do nothing for the black village, but sneak and turn out them gay ass niggas that put that dick in your back. And nobody is more supportive than the black woman with homosexuality. So why should we protect this black woman and she supports this punk shit? She'll push it off on our son. She'll push gangsterism off on him. She'll push hoism off on our daughter. Bitch, we supposed to be kicking y'all ass too. Just being real. The black woman for be getting her motherfucking ass kicked by these niggas. Niggas that whoop hole for be kicking y'all and y'all ass for more than principle. Bitch, I told you, you mother. Man, I'm telling you. That's why I... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that with it, though? Uh, oh. Which one? Oh, yeah, Kim Cole. Yeah, yeah, turn to Kim T. Cole. Bet, Kim T. Cole. Yeah, bet. Nigga, stop me. Say, man, I was locked up with you that one time. Remember I had the Maverick jersey on? What's the name of that lawyer you said, man? Help me with my kids. Child custody. Black man fighting for his kids. Black man fighting for his kids on the highway. He ain't asking about nothing else. He ain't asking for no bond lawyer. Listen to what the brother said. That's how God worked. Nigga, I was in jail last year on the DUI. That's how God worked. He bring them past right back because the brother needs something. 
So I'm telling you motherfucking gay black man, where were you gay black man when that sister got killed in Mexico and that other gay black male stood by and said, you ain't gonna at least fight back? He didn't, he didn't try to protect. And what I noted, none of you gay black motherfuckers got together and stood in solidarity for that woman and her sister and her family to try to get justice. See what I'm starting to see about the gay community? Y'all some motherfucking bully faggots. Faggot bullies, whatever you want to call them, but y'all some bullies. But I just want to tell the gay black community, there's no motherfucking God that you can serve to enter into the gates of heaven. Believing you're gay, believing you was born gay, and not knowing, nigga, every day you take a dick, you sinning against God, and you are detached from whatever God got on earth for goodness. Because you taking dick in your ass, boy. Fuck is wrong with you. There's no God, there's no prayer, your mother, or nobody. You can't be heard from you. I'm detached, nigga. You are an abomination. I'm going to say it again. You are a fucking abomination, black boy. You gay sissy. Your words are death to our ears. I ain't heard nothing you said. I just read the title and I wouldn't doubt, nigga. Look at a demon-possessed body boy and take in his motherfucking words so it can be receptive to my soul. I won't give you that kind of action, you demon sissy. By the time if you live to be 70 or 80 taking dick, your bowels won't be able to hold it. I'm going to say it again, you sissy. But if you live to be 60 or 70, all that dick in and out your ass, your bowels won't be able to hold. You'll be walking around. You can't stop yourself from shitting. You won't know if you shitting a foreign boy in 60 when you get 60, 70 years old. I may have a hemorrhoid problem, but at least I know when it's time to shit. I'm going to know when it's time to shit, nigga. Your motherfucking asshole won't know nothing. Just go be loose. <laughs> you sick ass motherfucker, you. I hate you. <laughs> you a sick motherfucker. And any little boy you come in contact with, you destroy their nature. That's why the black woman is wrong for letting you enter into their homes, knowing that you got that homosexual spirit on you. And she got little boys. Because one thing we know about all you gay sissy motherfuckers, damn near 99% of you faggots been fucked and touched as little boys. That's why you got a season and a desire to be touched and fucked. Somebody turned that motherfucking Pandora box on. Can't talk to me, motherfucker. You can't talk to me, motherfucker. It's a special place in hell for you motherfuckers that you're going to go so asshole having that bitch. You done let a motherfucker whisper in your ear. It feel good back there. And now you want to be a gal. Yeah. You done let a motherfucker climb up on your back and whisper in your motherfucking ear what they can do back there. And now you want to be a gal. The Bible describes a motherfucker like you as the, 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 the soul and the, I mean, the spirit of Satan. You are the embodiment of the spirit of Satan, Lucifer, the devil. You know why? Because the devil and Lucifer is the master of deception. What's more deceptive and more masterful deceiving than a motherfucking punk with makeup on, sounding like a goddamn woman, looking like a motherfucking Ray Lewis, Raven, my Baltimore Raven linebacker, bitch. Nothing is more deceptive than a motherfucking manly looking man. Satan, get behind thee. Satan, get behind thee. You're going to rot in hell, faggot. In the Lord's name, the Lord is my shepherd. No God don't like sissies and punks. He made man and woman. And he may say, look down on Adam. He nigga, everybody on earth had a woman. Everything God gave had a male and female gender. Every goddamn thing that God created. And nigga, God made the world. Look down on Adam and say, God damn it, I done fucked up. I done give everybody a bitch except my boy. And guess what God did? Put that nigga to sleep and give him a bitch. He didn't give him a partner. He didn't give him a nigga. He didn't bring down slanging dick in the ram in the make of Adam, nigga. He brought a bitch, a whole man. A womb man. You ain't got no womb. That's a rectum. <laughs> 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 that 
in her motherfucking womb. That's a rectum. <laughs> it <is> stink. <laughs> it ain't nothing you can do, that motherfucker, not make it stink. <laughs> All your sex is stinky. <laughs> Y'all been in here getting booty. <laughs> yeah, mom, yeah, they been getting booty. Man, you don't smell that? Man, them niggas been in here fucking. Yeah, man, that, man, shit, man, that, nigga, that smell like burnt rubber. Man, that nigga, man, at least, well, at least they using rubbers. It smell like burnt rubber in here. What that motherfucking latex condom with that motherfucking doo-doo? What -doo? it smell like burnt like a nigga been burning rubber in here? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, Lord, they going to hell. <laughs> they ain't got no place in heaven. It ain't a book you can read by the homosexual get to enter into the pearly gates. <laughs> oh, no. No, boys and girls, it ain't a Bible. It ain't no religious book on earth that says the homosexual get to enter into the pearly gates. They ass go be on fire. They ass go be on fire. <laughs> they going to hell. Yeah, they know it too. That's why they don't give a damn. They try to destroy the world. They try to. They know they going to hell. They don't give a damn. They really ready to crash out. The homosexual community ready to crash out. They know it ain't a god on earth that get the hug in. <laughs> I'm finna lose this channel. I already know it. I hate to lose it too, y'all. I'm not bullshit. I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna go to the. Yeah, I hate to lose it. Yeah, yeah, but fuck it. I just got to. I got to. I got to say this to the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gay will not go to hell. Just bottom line. And gay children show sure ain't going to hell. They're gonna be cursed so motherfucking severely. They, you won't even know if they. They can pray to God all day long. God go, 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 go be throwing motherfucking me. Deaf hand signs to them, man. They can't even see God. God going to be standing right in front of their motherfucking face, talking to them like the deaf people talk to them, and they won't be able to hear God. <laughs> I'm telling them gay kids. <laughs> I'm not bullshit. I ain't just making no shit up. I'm telling you the God, honest truth. I'm telling you God, little boys and girls. I swear for God, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, be just you keep be gay if you want to, black woman. You see how them little sissy motherfuckers is? They be miserable and lonely, and they really be homicide, suicidal. I ain't going to say homicidal. They be, they be suicidal. Yeah, motherfucker. Them realize they done fucked up. Yeah, man, mother, let's hear, yeah, nigga. But didn't nobody, did, did, didn't the gay community come out? And uh, didn't nobody stand up for Erica Badu? When they were DJ Academia talking crazy to the queen, to the sister? Now, gay community come out. Oh, you can't talk to Erica like that. But now he's saying something to these city girl hoes. Man, them city girl hoes don't need nobody standing up for them the way them hoes talk. Man, them hoes sell pussy. Man, them hoes supposed to have a pimp. The way them bitches talk to them hoes is freelance pussy sellers. And they supposed to be signed to some type of talent or management agency in the name of pimping. So why would this punk be in the way of some nigga get, getting at these as hoes and bitches? Have you heard the way these bitches and hoes talk? Many of the hoes you supposed to whoop. Yeah, this the bitch y'all be in the project. This bitch talk like this here. Man, y'all ain't fucked in four, five days. She been going through your phone, talking that city girl talk, and slap her right across her motherfucking mouth. Next thing you know, she done hit you across your head. Now y'all breaking shit in the apartment. She hollering by, she go call her brother and her cousin them. You grabbing the guns out the closet. That's these kind of hoes you do this with. You don't stand up and protect them hoes. You call the police when they have a domestic violence fight. That's all you do. You don't stand up and throw your life away for no bitch that's rapping like these city girls, black man. Don't you do that. You got a mama that pray. These bitches don't pray. <laughs> your, mama, your mama got a manicured pussy. These hoes don't take care of their pussy. The fuck is you talking about? They don't have no annual and you go doctor going hoes. What the fuck is you talking about? So now, man, uh, don't y'all throw y'all life away and listen to you, these rap bitches. Fuck these hoes. Yeah, fuck these bitches. Yeah, and fuck them city girl hoes. Bitch won't get nobody no pussy. To put them over inflated they pussy. Think they pussy cost Birkin bags. And yeah, they think all, all they got is a mile. 
a pussy and can cook some type of dish, a bitch got some value. Bitch, you ain't got no value. Bitch, we eat out most of the time. You hold don't cook like that to have that kind of value. And you hold don't ain't, ain't got no cornbread dressing dressing uh, recipe. You hold don't know how to make salmon croquet. You bitches ain't got none of that. Fuck you, bitch, so you cook it. You can scratch that off. Your pussy, bitch, I got to activate your pussy. If I don't activate your pussy, your pussy don't get activated because you started fucking too early as a little girl. This ain't no virgin pussy. Bitch, this pussy, this pussy is a, this is used car pussy. By the time a nigga gets some of you hoes, you not already had a baby. You not already fucked 10 niggas. This pussy got mileage. This is a hot mile pussy. Bitch, this is, bitch, this ain't no good trade in for nothing. So you hold talking that talk, I bring pussy and head and, and, and food to the table. Well, that's why these niggas fucking boys. Yeah, I see why these niggas fucking boys. At least the punk cooking for these niggas. The punk buying them clothes. Is that all you hold got? I see why these niggas going to jail playing homeboy then. Yeah, yeah, this bitch ain't worth no. You hold ain't got no house. You hold don't know how to get a nigga credit in order. So we both coming into the, so you bringing good dick. I'm bringing good dick. You bring good pussy. When this shit get old, what we got, baby? And your cooking go get old too. Because you ain't knowing how to make nothing new. And you ain't got your grandmama them recipes. So when your cooking get old, I get tired of overseeding that shit. Your head and your pussy get old after about two years. What we got, baby? Why you think a nigga looking over your shoulder at your friends now? Because she you're a real estate investor. You ain't got nothing. You done sucked and fucked me. Okay, we done sucking and fucking after two years. The excitement of that is gone, bitch. What else you got to the table when I'm looking at you? That's why I'm looking over in, in bed at y'all. That's why the grass is looking greener. Because I'm tired of fucking. I'm tired of getting my dick sucked and your food done wore off on me. What you got to keep this interest now? Because this shit get old, baby. Especially if we talking about being together 30, 40 years. That's why you bitches can't keep no man. You think that pussy hole can do it. You think sometimes that nigga just, sometimes that nigga just want somebody to pray for him like his mama. Bitch, you don't even know how to pray. If a nigga gets sick, you don't know how to walk out. Right? When life go to kick in a nigga in the ass, you don't know how to lay over a nigga and, and encourage a nigga and say, baby, it's going to be all right. You don't know what to do. You want to grab my dick now, man. You want to grab my dick. You think I'm a sucker. Yeah, you think I'm like the you think I'm like that older nigga that first started fucking you. You think I you think your pussy is your power and it gives me power. I'm sorry to tell you, baby, your pussy don't give me no power as a man on earth. It just pleases me for the moment. And when I'm at your pussy, your pussy have no more power. See, so you listen to the rapping nigga. I'm gonna say it again, baby. When I get out your pussy, your pussy ain't got no more power. Your pussy only got power when I'm in it. When I get out of it, it has no more power. <laughs> but you didn't nobody tell you that, huh, bitch? So you think your little pussy got power? That's why you struggling, bitch. That's why you do this. Now your little pussy ain't got no power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody tell. You. So we don't want to hear nobody no city girls and city bitches. Where them Betty Shabazz type women at? Where them Coretta Scott Kings at? And let me just tell y'all something about Coretta Scott King, young bitches and young hoes and young ladies and young girls and women. See, she knew her husband was cheating on her. She knew Martin Luther King was a dick slanging motherfucking hoe monging preacher. She knew that about her nigga. She knew that about her nigga. But one thing that woman did, nigga, she never spoke ill of him. And you never knew what man she was fucking. I'm gonna say that again. Everybody knew her nigga was a dick slanging preacher. Everybody knew that. That woman never spoke ill of him. And you never knew who she was fucking. See, that's a woman. That's a woman. Tupac mother, that was a woman. Betty Shabazz, that's a lady. You can tell and you can identify a woman and a lady by the way they walk and the way they speak, the way they talk. Women don't use term dick, pussy, whole bitch. Women and ladies don't talk like that. That's whole bitch talk. Women and ladies don't openly let you know how good they pussy is. That's whole bitch talk. You ain't go see a woman in the lady's pussy print. You can't see they camel toe. That's whole and bitch behavior. You don't know how pretty a, 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 a woman's inner thigh is. She don't let you see that high. You, you won't get to see a tattoo on a, on, a, on a lady's lower back. She won't let you know it's there until she get naked and you sleep with her. 
A hoe wants you to see it. A bitch wants you to know it's out. That's how you can tell. You can tell a referee by the uniform is wearing, can't you? You can tell a police by the uniform is wearing, can't you? You can tell a woman by a uniform. She's going to be dressed modest. You can tell a hoe by her uniform. You can tell a bitch by her uniform. I promise you can, boys and girls. It's the reason why they put it on. Because a woman is not out trying to seek the attention of men. That's the, that's the bitch in the hoe. That's the bitch in the hoe. She's out trying to seek the attention of men by the way she dressed, by the way she walked, by the way she talked. The woman in the lady pays the man no mind. She's moving about her day because she has plans. She has goals. She has aspirations. She has things to do, people to nurture, individuals to take care of. So she's not interested in being distracted and stopped along her journey to be bothered about a pussy. Because she know most men who stop her are stopping her to bother her about her pussy. He don't bring value to her life, and she understands that. So she don't entertain many men. The hoe and the bitch stop for everybody that's talking. The hoe and the bitch are stopping talk for everybody that's stopping and talking in her face that catches her interest in her attention. The woman ignores even what catches her interest. Because again, she has things to do. So, uh, tell the gay world, uh, we ain't responding to them. And I hate DJ Academic do it. You come back and address the people, nigga. When you in the punk have a problem and you got a big platform you don't say nothing to the punk because you don't let the punk engage you you don't let the punk engage you into gay chronicles 